Hey, how's it going everyone? Justin again, as always. Thanks for watching my channel. Welcome back. Today we're going to do a little bit of a product review through the catalog, the Cornwall catalog. This is the newest catalog they put out for this month. And what I'm getting ready to, re to reveal to you is a secret that I don't think Cornwell wants you to know. Because if you knew this secret, you wouldn't be buying tools from Cornwell. But it's a secret that I, this is, a, this is the number one reason why I actually prefer and love Cornwell tools over Matco, Mac, and Snap-on. It's for no other reason other than this. And because Cornwell makes it so easy for you to purchase the true product. They tell you who is the official company that came out with the product before it was rebranded with the Cornwall name on it. So that's my number one reason. Cornwall makes it super easy for you to purchase directly from the actual manufacturer themselves or to go on Amazon and purchase it directly. Let's take a look at the catalog and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So one of the first items here, I got my magic marker here. You'll see we got the high uh, lumens um, streamlight up there at the top, the Stinger. We all know it, we all love it. It's one of the best flashlights in the industry. Shows you comes with a charger, a couple batteries, something for your uh, the AC cable uh, input or whatever inside of a car. Then you get the flashlight itself and you get this nifty little rubber deal that goes on the end. Okay, that's all well and good. Uh, you can see here that the characters, and I'm going to try to zoom in for you guys. I can't, now, some of this is hit and miss, but most of this is spot on. So you'll see, you see XP STL and a part number. So to me, this is maybe like extra special because it comes with the free t-shirt, okay? But STL being the main focus here is short for Streamlight. Now let's scroll down here. You'll see some other Streamlights. These are more the pocket style. And over here, you're going to see STL in the beginning of that part number plus the part number. Why? There's nothing extra. You get the Streamlight, you get the charger, so STL plus the part number. We're going to go to the next page. Let me zoom back out for you. Next page you'll see we got some Milwaukee stuff, the Cornwell Impact, some uh, double box end wrenches, you got some AC machines, sweet plier set in a bag. These are all the hot tools for the month. Some sockets, a body saw, <clears throat> some other sockets. So now Let's start taking a look at a few other of these other items. Let's start off with the Milwaukee. So the Milwaukee, we got MWE plus a part number. Abbreviation for Milwaukee. Come over here to the impact, you'll see IRC and a part number. That's Ingersoll Rand Company. IRC. We'll uh, scroll down here to the AC machines. RAC. <clears throat> uh, that's Robin Air. Sorry, Robin Air Company. RAC. I had to think about that for a minute. <laughs> it's funny if you if you don't review tools all the time, you start forgetting about some of these other companies that make tools. So it can be a little over cumbersome from time to time. All right, now we'll come over here. We'll take a look at the bagged items. You got CPL, XPC, CBM. I don't know all the characteristics of every one of these tools, uh, but I was actually shown this trick from a Cornwell tool distributor that I will not name names, and it's helped me to figure out who makes what product. So in time, as you do more and more video research, Google research, tool brand research, 
you can start putting the names with a lot of these tools and abbreviations. This is why I love Cornwell because they make it so freaking easy. Now, another one, this is going to be kind of interesting here. We got some service carts. And uh, the abbreviation that they give you for the service carts is going to be a little bit different. Okay. Uh, but we got uh, CTBMM plus part number and then GE. This is actually really difficult because I know that they just recently changed who manufactures their toolbox. If I'm not mistaken, I believe, uh, I believe Kennedy used to make their toolboxes. And I'm not sure who makes them now. I want to say Waterloo. I just, I don't know. So this abbreviation's a little bit off. So that's not going to be very applicable to me at this point. I will converse with the uh, Cornwell rep who I do talk to, and we'll figure that out later. All right, now we're going to take a look at some other tools here. Uh, I'm trying to see if anything stands out. You know, I'm not going to go through all this. You got sockets, ratchets, extensions, etc. We're going to flip the page because nothing's really like standing out to me too much right now. Okay, so here's a 13-piece uh, SAE wrench, uh, ratcheting combination wrench set. Let me zoom in for you right here KD plus part number that's KD tools so KD tools makes that one they also make this 16 piece metric ratcheting combination wrench set so KD tools alright then we come over here and if I'm not mistaken this one right here it starts off CL plus part number I believe Crescent is the actual company that makes this product for them so a little bit different there but you can see a trend going on all right we'll go back to some air tools this makes it kind of easy too uh, let's zoom in here real quick on this stubby impact gun that I was looking at the other day what's it start with it starts with cat so that could be uh, one of two different manufacturers and I don't remember exactly which one, but it's either Caterpillar that makes this product for Cornwell or it is uh, Aircat. I believe it's Caterpillar though. If I'm not mistaken, CAT is for Caterpillar Company. Caterpillar Company, I believe, is the one that makes that specific product for Cornwell for their air tools. Also, if you look over at some of the other ones, you'll see CAT as well as the IRC. So you got Ingersoll Rand uh, making specific air tools for Cornwell as well as Caterpillar Company. So I got a couple different choices there. Coming over here, you got a um, quarter inch and three eighths drive tap socket set for 40 bucks with an LS part number. LS is for Lyle Tools. So if you ever wanted to know that, that's Lyle Tools. OW, I'm not 100% on if I had to take a wild stab at it. I think OW is supposed to be OTC rebrand. If I'm not mistaken, not sure. Another one here you'll see is uh, this uh, magnetic base style indicator set. You see the FW plus the part number. That's made by Fowler. So Fowler Tools is actually who makes that dial indicator set. You're going to notice that on a lot of the uh, measurement tools that's in here. So go to the next page. Again, you, know, you can see right here at the top, it says Cricut. This is the Cricut knife selection that they have going on. And it starts with an abbreviation of CK. CKT, right there. Cricut Company. So this is giving you an idea. We're, we're getting into it. Okay, We're showing you the secrets behind the madness and how you can easily figure out who makes what tool and how they're rebranded. <clears throat> like I said, it's not going to be like this for every single one, but pretty darn close. Okay, this other one is an under hood light. 
with AS being the abbreviation. I believe that company to be Astro Tools. Uh, that's also, you can find that on Amazon. You might have seen Astro Tools on Amazon. So that's there. You've also got the Maxis Scan Tool, uh, which is made by Altel. You can see it's got the AUT for Altel. So you know that that's what's going on there. All right, we're going to get into some other ones here. Uh, you can see again, some more Altel, even says on the box, plus the abbreviation. Uh, let's take a look and see if we can't get into some other stuff. Uh, GS, not sure who GS is for the fuel pressure gauge or the oil pressure one. So now we'll go to the AC stuff. Take a look at some of the stuff they have here. <clears throat> All right, so talking about AC manifold gauges as well as this thermal imager. You can see it starts off with MCL plus a part number that's made by Mastercool. So Mastercool company makes the gauges for Cornwell. Cornwell puts their stamp on it and it is what it is. This thermal imager is uh, known as, it's made by FLIR. So I don't know that Corn, uh, Cornwell actually rebrands this product. They may just sell it directly out of the package, the FLIR package. But it is made by FLIR Tools, so if you ever wanted to know that. LS, again, Lyle Tool Company. Moving on. Um, some of these acronyms I don't recognize, so that's why I'm kind of skimming over the top. Just trying to give you a brief overview of how you can recognize who makes what? Now we'll come up here to the top. You'll see uh, STL on this flip socket set. It's up here. That's made by Stanley. That's Stanley Tool Company. Uh, I'm, I'm looking, guys. It's been a while since I've actually done this and uh, have gone through and physically broke down all the... Um, characteristics of the acronyms that Cornwall has. So I'm a little bit fuzzy on some of the acronyms. Uh, I believe the MW, now this is for the MIG welder. I believe that's rebranded of Miller Tools. I believe that's a Miller Tool rebranded uh, welder. If I remember that correctly. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> I think that'll pretty much wrap up the catalog again ending on the streamlight headlamp you can see STL streamlight okay well the main purpose behind this whole video sorry I'm trying to zoom out and flip around here the main purpose behind this whole video was to give you guys a better understanding of how rebranding works as far as Cornwall Tool Company is concerned how they list all the products of who makes what in the catalog. So do not be surprised if you see a product that is labeled Cornwall Tools but has a, uh, an abbreviation from the actual company who makes it. Cornwall has paid this company X amount of dollars to put their stamp on it, turn around and sell it for a profit. So if you would like the same quality of the exact same quality of the tool that you're getting ready to buy but you would rather buy it uh, for less the cost and you'd like to go on to Amazon and find it for less the cost this is how you can find out who makes what tool for Cornwell and go out and purchase this specific tool without having to pay twice as much so that's how it's done that is the biggest secret that Cornwell tool company probably does not want me to tell you guys about that I've already told you about hey look I wear Cornwall shirts I love my Cornwall tool distributor I love the tool products that they have I love the ability of being able to buy tools when I can't afford to and make payments to them so I'm not talking bad about Cornwall whatsoever but I thought I would try to put together the perfect video for you guys so that, that way you can recognize the differences between a rebranded product and the actual product it's unfortunate for us as automotive technicians or DIYers that uh, Snap-on and Mac and Matco do not do the same exact thing. If they did, I'm sure they would see a tremendous down, downward spike 
in total sales. If you talk to any Cornwall rep, Maco rep, or Snap-on rep, you'll notice a downward trend between companies. And the reason is, is because of how they display their products and how they put their products out there and how they abbreviate the part numbers in their catalogs. Just the number one reason why Cornwall tools don't sell as well as Matco tools or Snap-on tools. Has nothing to do with the product, has everything to do with the way that people have caught on to how they actually list the part number. That's all I got for this video guys. I hope this is beneficial to those of you out there in the automotive industry that are purchasing tools on a regular, uh, especially if you have a Cornwall dealer and it helps you to figure out who actually makes this tool and how can I get it cheaper. That's all I got for this video guys. Cheers to those of you that have your beers. I hope you're enjoying your work week. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Deuces.